Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing fine. I hope you guys are okay. So first of all, I want to apologize for you guys because I didn't make any videos uh, like in three weeks of three weeks and a half, something like that. I lost my grandmother and it's a hard time because I grew up with her. Well, anyway, today we are going to talk about blue team operations and tools and today we are going to see how to configure a DMZ or Dimitri Wait. Yeah, a demilitarized zone in with PFSense okay so first of all we have to go on remembering I'm using VMware right I know you guys are smart and you guys can recognize uh, well anyway I'm using VMware so let's go to edit virtual network editor and then we have this so I'm going to change settings oh Lord. and well here I already created because I made a video in Portuguese so I had to create one but uh, to do that we have to create a DMZ zone we are going to create another uh, VNet, alright? So just add a network here, like this, choose which one do you prefer, okay? And then press, okay, I'm not going to do that because I already have mine over here. So after that press OK, I'll just do this and show you guys. So it's starting over here okay and now apply after applying just press ok done the first step is done now uh, we are going to pfsense virtual machine settings here and then we are going to add a no, another network adapter so come to here adapt add network adapter and finish so after that we just select the vnet the vnet we selected we created on the virtual network editor all right i'm not going to do that because i don't need so please please pay attention I'm going to remove the new network adapter but you guys have to keep it alright you guys have you guys have to has three adapters here need to the network adapter on bridge the network adapter on custom vnet 3 or 2 as before and then the vnet the network adapter before uh, four five six whatever okay I'm going to remove this one you guys don't do that and I'll just cancel it perfect so after that you have to restart or you have to turn on your PF sense and then it's going to appear a menu here all right uh, well as you guys can see I already have set it everything but for you guys not going to show like that so how can we solve this problem first we have to assign the network interface okay so press 1 and then enter here uh, should VLANs be set up now no we are not going to set up the VLANs so enter the one interface name so em0 it is 
and enter the LAN interface, EM1 it is. Enter the optional one interface, EM2, and we are done. So do you want to proceed? Yes, I want. So it's going to start and applying the configurations we have done till now. Okay, so as you guys can see, it's already. Now, um, I made a video in Portuguese before, so I changed the name OPT1 to DMZ, and I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Here, probably, is going to be empty, and here also. So, the second thing we have to do is to set up the interface IP address. So I'm going to select to the LAN interface, press enter, and then we are going to enter the new one, 10.0.0.1, press enter. Now enter the LAN IPv4 subnet bit count 24, we are going to use slash 24, and then we are not going to touch the one interface right neither the LAN IPv6 and yes we want to enable the DHCP so Y and enter and uh, start 10.0.0.1 and the ending the end address is 10.0.0.254 so here it show us, shows us to access web configurator we just access 10.0.0.1 press enter to continue so we have this already set it now I'm going to my Ubuntu desktop machine right this is connected to the server and we are going to system general setup here you can give any name to the host to the server and here the domain normally we have a domain here but we can use also a local domain there's no problem and here DNS servers just use a Google one 8.8.8.8 .8 and the second secondary 8.8.4.4 .8 .4 .4. If you want to add a new one, you can add here, right? Save it, and we are done here. Now, next thing is we are going to interfaces, and one interface, IPv4 configuration, the HCP, IPv6, none. We are not going to use the HCP v6. And here we are going to use um, internal local network. So we are going to let uncheck here and we are going to check this box. Okay. Save it and then move to the next one, the one interface. The same thing. But here is going to be static IPv4. Okay, the name is LAN, or you can give any name you want. We are not going to use IPv6. And the same thing, block boggle networks. And here you are going to let unchecked. Here is going to appear for you the IP address you set up on PFSense terminal here. Okay, 
save it and go to the next now for you probably on your computer on your server is going to be OPT1 click on it enable the interface and the description you can put like the MZ the militarized zone or any other you want like my fucking private network whatever and here static IPv4 okay here you can configure the MTU if you know from your MTU network you can use it here the IP address here you are going to set any IP you want alright of course a valid IP don't be stupid so sorry sorry uh, well just set up some valid IP address right here okay and slash 24 if you want to add a gateway you can do that but I'm not going to do to, so and here the same thing let this unchecked and check this block bogon networks and save it okay after saving that and just let's go to the main page and we can see the network interface right here and that's it okay it was easy simple and fast to configure all right so thanks a lot for watching this video guys uh, I'm so sorry I uh, one more time okay I apologize I want to apologize one more time and see you guys on the next video if you like my videos share for friends or or not if you don't want and if you're not subscribed just subscribe to my channel and see you guys on the next video